Abaigirizwa webe yongero obunji ni wabawo okwe mulugunya mubakere ni siti kubebulania 
kubanga banna mwandu lwabwe baba fisanga mukuweleza okwa bulijjo en 10 na babiri ne baita e 10 na babiri ne baita ekibina kya bayigirizwa ne bagamba anti techi woma fe okulekanga ekigambo kya katonda okuweleza nga kumeza kale abo luganda mulonda abantu mumwe abasimi wa musanvu abajuddo omoyo omuntu kuvuna amagezi beba betunateeka ku mulimu guno na yefe tunanyikiranga mu kusaba nokuweleza ekigambo ekigambo ekyo nekisimibwa mu maso gechibina chonna ne balonda Stefano omuntu eyajjula okukiriza no moyo omuntu kuvu ne Filipo ne pulo prokolo ne nikono niko, nikanoli ne timoni ne pumena ne nikolao omukyufu owe antiokia ne baba teka mu maso ga bantu ne basaba ne baba sako emikono ekigambo kya katonda ne kibuna omuwendo gwabayigirizwa mu Yerusalemi ne gweyongerako nyo ekibina kinene ekyaba kabona ne bagondera okukiriza ne bagondera okukiriza Stefano we yajula ekisana amanyi nakolanga amagero no bubonero obunene ne mu bantu na yene bayimuka abantu abe kunganiro elitibwa eliaba eliaba betino ne eliaba bekuleni ne eliaba legeza deira ne eliaba kirakia ne eliaba sia ngaba wakana ne stefano ekitundu kya fecho kubiri chikomyao Father, we thank you for bringing us together this morning. Have your way through me. Speak and convict everybody who is a leader in his own or her own way. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We want first of all to thank God for the Magiz family. I mean, it's, it's worth to give a very big hand clap to the Lord. What a great family, a great uh, leadership that the Magizi and his beloved wife have shown. Leadership, leadership. This morning I'm sharing about choosing good leaders. And we were blessed last Sunday, the bishop of the assistant bishop Huntington shared with us about leadership in the 21st century. And he provoked, the message provoked us at all levels. This morning, allow me to share with you three things that make up what we are sharing. Because we are talking of choosing God leaders. The three things is number one is choice. <laughs> choose, 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 choose. The second one is leaders. Leaders who are not worldly, leaders who are not whatever, but who are Leaders who are godly. I want to take the example of uh, what uh, the second reading we had. 
Acts chapter 6. I will not take long, but we have heard. I want to read only verse 5 if you can read it in Uganda. Yes. And uh, in English it says, and the saying, that saying, you know, they, they agreed to choose among themselves, but that saying, according to my version, says, that idea, that saying, pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit. Nevalonda Stefano, Omuntu Eajula, Okiriza, no Moyo, Omutukovo. Thank you so much. The rest follow, but I want to pick at that man if I began with. Avant to Allah, never never bogged Wakum Bia and Kuninja Quaker Lisa Kustefano. Stephen, Stephen was chosen because of two important things in him. Stefano, no, Yalonde were already into Vivi, Via Mani, Nebia in Bramoway. Full of the Holy Spirit. The man with full faith. In verse, on verse 3, they said, there are for brethren, you know, this is the church. They are not chosen for anything else. It is the church, the community of believers who decides to choose leaders. Brethren, brethren, you know, so any leader is chosen from and among for the particular group. And any leader who is not from to serve them that chose him is actually not. <laughs> he has, you must question the such a leader. Kale kati omuntu ye nabu alonde wa okuji wa mchivi nje chita li chita li chaba nubaga gendo kule mbele. Chiba chite geza ntiba nubaga gendo kule mbele. Ya ntiba nga simu kule mbeze wa wanaru wa nilidevi ntu yabwe. Verse 3 says there are for brethren seek out among. Olinyi roksa tuvikula yotu mesule omukaga ni wakama wati. Kale, Abu Uganda, Muronde, Abantu, Mumwe. Among men of good reputation. Mumwe, Abasimi, Wa, Musamvu. Full of the Holy Spirit. Abajude, Omoyo, Omutukuvu. And wisdom. Nama Gezi. Whom we may appoint over the business. Betuna Teka, Kumulimu, Guno. You know, there must be a group, a community, uh, you know, a people with a culture, a people with values, and they seek leaders who are going to help to uphold these values. Omo yuwa teke duwa kubeda wechi binja chabantu. Aba ine mpisa nenono zaabwe, elanga bana alonda abantu, nga nabantu beba lonze, beba na afuko kulanti, enono ne mpisa zechi binja chabantu beba kule mbeda. Zina hakumi wabu titibidi. So, Friends, I'm not, uh, you know, backbiting anybody, but I have ever traveled with a pastor. We went together in a place. He was telling me miracles he was, do, you know, doing in his church, and I asked him, but you are, who chose you to be what you are? Aboluganda sigeza ako kukola lugambo kumuntu yena. Nena tambula kuna omu kubasumba. Nga tukenda kurugendo. Na agenda nga atu nyumi zebya magiru vya kola. Vya manyi vya kola mubantu basumba. Nene maliza nene mubuza. And he proudly said, God chose me, God anointed me. And he asked him, he anointed you to go and, and minister and lead who? Of course, you know what he answered. He said, that's the problem with you Anglicans. You are so learned. You are so learned in the Bible. Theologically, you don't know what God is doing. So what I am going, I'm trying to emphasize here is that Choice, choice, choice is so important. 
Whether in church level or community level or political level or any civic leadership, choice is such important. You choose leaders for a purpose. The purpose is to uphold and protect and lead and serve the community, the values and the culture of that community. Even if it is a political party or a nation or whatever level, choice must depend on values and culture that you want to uphold. So who is this that you are choosing? A leader who is there to protect our values. And if we are, we are talking of choosing godly leaders, not God the, the, the small G. Everybody can be a godly leader. And you have seen godly leaders. One of them is one powerful woman, you know, in this country, who is such a, you know, at every occasion, she's so quick even to, to be compassionate, and she quickly shows that she's the leader, and she can give. But do you know what, what the God she's worshipping? And she doesn't even fear. She goes to the president and everywhere. She shows at very important occasions that she's a godly woman. She doesn't even fear. Be careful, you may be walking and fellowshipping with someone who is a godly person, but with a, a god of a small g. So the choice is so important. If you are a team of believers, if you are a fellowship of believers, the brethren, the church, choice of the, the person that you are choosing is such important. Thing. In fact, some people bleed and cry because of, in this country, when we fail to choose Good leaders, because our theme and our motto says, for God and my country. So the choice is important. Unfortunately, some of our leaders got this morally. I can't mention their names, but you know them. Some of those morally, some of those priests in the morally have ever claimed that those such a people, and they say, if it were not me, if you are not this here, in this sabo, you would not have been so and so. Muchimani de Dalanti Nava Mukuba Kabona, Ubaba Ita, Sawa, Bagan, Ubaba Abechin Nancy Kali, Abanini Zen Sassi Masabago, Abakulemiso, and Jibagain, Babu Den and Bacho get a commute to Jem Police Ganyantin, Om Kulemiso, you sing us to Kujawang and Munyaniza Kunsas, Yandi Metalina Muchpech. So good leaders. Kali, Abakulemiso, God leaders Katonda. that are committed to using their gifts. They, they are intellect. They are talents. They are passion. To make others great. 
to lift others up, to bless others, and to transform what is around them. And this one is at all levels, even from the family level. Daddy or mommy, you know you are a leader. I am a leader. When I go home, when I leave this pulpit going home, no one at home will begin to call me a canon reverend. No, 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 they know they call me daddy. Yeah. My husband says, you know, husband, not reverend. Reverend is living, it is, I'm, I'm, I'm a leader in another capacity. There. I once was a chaplain to one of the bishops. Some time back. And whenever this bishop would go home, we live, we are going home, and when we reach home, we would be in the same car with the, my, the, the wife who was the president of Mother's Union. But the, the wife was so powerful, even whenever would, when we would ever reach there, he, he, she would quickly go in the bedroom and come back uh, 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 and say, uh, mention Omwami. Na ye omchalo no wade ali wachiti wa nyuna amanyi manji nyomba gumoba kristayo. Bulire tu watu kange waka muna ange. Evitibo ya vile kange li natu uka mchisenge na ateleza na kumuna gamba muami wange. Omwami I have brought juice. Can, can you help to serve these people? Naga, ti muami wange. And for, and for us who would come with the bishop would be saying, really, Tamanyin, this one is a bishop. So leadership even at home it goes with status and power. So brethren as you choose and you decide to, decide to, to, to choose leaders who are you choosing and for what? Because when you, you choose a leader, you want to give this leader the, the power to be able to exercise that authority amongst you. And that leader, therefore you pray to God. If he's a godly leader, you pray to God to anoint him. And that is exactly what happened to Stephen and his team. Full of the Holy Spirit. Person of wisdom. Not worldly wisdom. Wisdom from God. So what is important is who are you a choosing. And if he is a godly leader who has led you to choose for who the person you have chosen. If God is the one who leads you to choose whoever has been chosen, then he is the power source. All the power for this person to be able to exercise all the leadership is from God. And so it depends on how the community, the people who are involved in choosing the type of God they worship. So no wonder when we shout in this country, we are 85% Christian. Really, are we? If we do, do we choose 
people after God's heart. You had in our first reading, they brought all people, all young people who belonged to the one family, but the last person who was not brought yet was the one that God had chosen. And so wherever you are, if you are the one the community is choosing, the one God is, is you know, pointing a finger to lead, he will choose you wherever you will be. Sometimes when I am preparing people for wedding, for, for wedding as we had, I always tell these people that, you know, God will choose anybody, anywhere. Your rib may be hidden somewhere. Where you don't know that one is your husband and then up or your wife. That is your leader. Ntero gamba abantu ngamba teka teko kuingira mbufumbo. Nemba gama anti na emu wabali wanuwe mbuli lida. Nkuteke zanti katonda ama nyolu vidi izuru wea luteka. Walu limu chitundu uchi elolu vidi izuru. Jwe lujoku wa omuami obo mchalao elaya joku wa mkulembeze wa maka. So a leader full of wisdom. Kale wati wa mkulembeza judo kutekele. Full of uh, you know, Holy Spirit. A leader full of the knowledge of where the, the power comes from. And for, and for our big G God leader who is a Christian, he knows the word of God. And he's able to share it. Because when you read, you realize that Stephen was really immersed in the word he knew God. Because with that knowledge, you are able to understand the mission and the vision for which you have been chosen. And you know in this country you have seen people who are in and paying so much in order to be chosen. And when things like feel, somehow are failing, they begin to even exchange blows. And so when you know that you, you, you are a must in God's leading and is the one who has chosen you. As a Christian, you are a leader with Christian conscience. If that community is interested in another person who is a leader, a Muslim or another one with Smoroji, fine. But for us, we know a good leader must be that one who is a must in the word of God. And Full of wisdom. Following Jesus' model of leadership. Which is servant leadership. God calls whoever he calls into servant leadership. Because taking Stephen, the, the, why these men, people were chosen was to give service to go and be servants while the, the, the apostles were preaching the word. And so for any effective leader, therefore, who is a servant, he or she needs power. 
And the power source is God himself. Not human beings. We have seen even leaders in the church, in the nation, who depend on people. That one will be a failure. Because God is the source of power. When he gives you power, you are able to to do amazing things. Amongst those people that have uh, you know, laid hands on you to serve them. And therefore, you must have the conscience to understand. Power, that power goes with authority for you to do things practically to, to please God. I know many of you who are seeing me, who are listening to me, are in your homes. What power do you have in your home? And with what authority are you exercising that power? And what is your power base? Do you bring your family together every morning to seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit? Do you read the word of God together? This reminds me of uh, one warden uh, in one of the churches actually in, in Kampala here where I was a priest. Whenever we would go out and would be praying I, and the person would not say in, uh, at the end through the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And the Actually, the, the church is St. Luke, you know, marking there. This person, this person, I, I was always asking myself, what is the problem? Then f- finally, when I, I took, uh, I went and I wanted to visit him, I found this man had a suburb behind. And, and he was the warden. And he would give to the church and would be very happy. So, church and Christians and you people who choose leaders. Do you know the leaders that lead you and the leaders you choose? So allow me to share a few characteristics. Things that really show that so and so is a good leader. And the Bible guides us into this. Godly leaders recognize the value in other people. And continually invests in those people and many others. And that second, that person is after God's own character. He's a person not of self-promotion. He's always obedient to the Holy Spirit. Obedient to the Holy Spirit. Anglicans, you church of Uganda, obedient to the Holy Spirit. You can't believe, I can even say it here, there is one bishop eh, who repented after, the, after a conversion, who repented that, brethren, forgive me, I have been smoking a pipe. During the team meeting, he was a good leader who 
who is obedient to the Holy Spirit. At whatever level the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit convicts you in your home, whether you are a father, a mother, the firstborn, whatever, please and please, whether a canon or whatever, you must allow the Holy Spirit. Number five, this person uses the inf his influence for the good of others. All the good leaders, all the leaders in the Bible were really using their influence, their power for the good of others. This leader must be visionary, must look far like a graphy, who looks at a distance to see what is happening. He serves others not expecting anything in return. So, Christian is in Saint Luke. Whether you don't pay me or not, still I will serve you. Whether you, you cut the salary of the you know, all these bowl and mugamba at Vasasura, still Vika, still me, I will serve. You, you may, but me, I will serve you. Can't you get it in a year of Christian and now Ulida? Over a Christian, but to get this own salary, but come up with your own to Jamu, Vitano, 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 and Joksi Gang and Pedis. Because I know the apostles, Kuanga Mani and Sibuko Yobu Yamani Gang. This leader is accountable, is accountable towards those that chose him. Omkule and Bezun, or Reda, Aulia Chimu. But above all, accountable to the power source. So what number nine? What helps this leader? He or she surrounds himself or herself with the word of God. Katonda. And they always lead others to discover their purpose and identity. That's why we must be on the pulpit to preach the word in season and out of season. That's why you as the head of the family, you must tell your children what you hold to as a family. What are you known of in this village? Number 11, you must impact the atmosphere. Leaders who are godly impact the atmosphere around them. I have had an opportunity to be to be uh, somehow to, to know some of these good leaders. One of them, one of them was the late first of Evangel. Even, even if Festo and his wife Mera would not speak, his presence only would tell you the atmosphere has changed. Festo Another one is the, the person you know, the late. <laughs> Livingstone Paranyankoyoyo. I, I was blessed. I worked with him in the provincial office. Whenever he even knock at your office, seeing his face alone would, would bring a different atmosphere. Another one, another one is Simon Peter Chigozi. Um, you might know. So, 
the atmosphere changes when a person of God, a person with full of the Holy Spirit is around. If you are head of the family, the whole family will change. And everybody will be asking what is so special. About so friends, we don't have a lot of time. Now leadership, you can see how important leadership can determine even our spiritual life, even our, you know, everything that you know, rotates around us, even as a nation, leadership is very important. So a leader must be always alert. A leader must be always absolute in your faith. You must be there, stand firm in your faith because what comes out of you is going to impact many. A leader must be active. Any leader who is not active, whether at a family level or whatever, please, please, please be careful. Must be courageous. Because that's the way you are going to have to influence many. Always be able, as it is quoted in Ephesians 6 verse 10, be able, be strong, be strong in the Lord. Create an atmosphere to do everything in love. As I finish, let me cite for you in the Bible those leaders that have influenced communities up to the present day. And we can also borrow what they lived for and know we are there for God. Quickly, uh, are, I, 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 have, I have 12, but I'm going to summarize them. The number one is Noah. <laughs> Noah, you know Noah in chapter 6. Of Genesis. We want leaders who can do what is right even if they are alone. Noah is an example. Second one, Abraham. Leaders who can embrace the unknown. God called him to go to the unknown. He didn't hesitate. You must be a leader who can lead your group, your team, your team to the unknown. Joseph. Joseph Yusuf. Who endured whatever circumstances for the sake of his name first and his community. You remember he said, how can I <laughs> sin against my God? Moses was a leader who stick, who was stuck and sticked up to the mission. Joshua, Joshua, who must who led by example. He never bothered about the command, but he led by example. Remember in Joshua 24, verse 15, 
Muna jukiranti muyoswa esule abidi mwenye ujinula wala kuminatano. He said, as least for me and my family. Na bagama anti wachiri kuruwange na abe nyumba yangi. We shall serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. For me, for me, if you can say that your children, as you see me, if you can tell your wife and your children and those who are under you, even in your office, and say, at least even if others are corrupt, even if others are stealing the government, you know, money or you know, whoever, but as for me, Banan. I, I will leave this place with my hands clean. Muchimanya chino, disinga gwe. Mumutima guma nchyo yogira. Singa gwe osobolo kuogira mtinu mzi. Ngabo munda ba wano. Ngo sobolo nchigamba ba wana beka. Tingabo munda ba wano kuruange. Nginda kufa kumulimu mu government. Yona chene kwa yanga sina chenzibie. Singo sobolo kuogire echo. Mukama abiri nafi. David. Dawdi. A leader who was not afraid of any giant. Ono yali mkule mbeze nga taina kutia kona. Elio mtu ni wabaya wagu katia. You remember the other giant? But he said, I will face him. Don't worry about these giants. These, these, these giants who are even doing a lot, who want to harm you, 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 you. But you know, God is for you. Isaiah. Isaiah <laughs> Leaders who rise to the occasion. Isaiah chapter 6. God was looking for whom to send. And Isaiah said, Here I am, send me. In this country of ours, who can be like Isaiah? Who can face the leaders of today? Like Prophet Nathan. And say, You are the one. Isaiah. Isaiah Nabi. Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> the man who maintained their resolve without regard for consequences. Even if it means throwing me into this uh, fire. I will not do what? I will not ashamed my God. Even if it means going empty and you know, stomach, I will not steal. I'm a Christian. Even if it means my children go out of school, I remain, that's a leader, I remain faithful. John the Baptist. Leaders who are not afraid to call out you know, the phones. You know, who cannot who fail to say, here he is. I can come down and this one goes up. Yokano Mubatiza, Yono. Yem Kurembeze, Atatia, Kunokola, your chibi, Nacho, get a conchino chibi. Namba Kurembeza, solo Gamantia, bye. Number 10, of course, the leader by excellence. Jesus, the leader who served as a servant. Number 11, from Jesus, two more leaders came up and they are very, very influential even for our life today. Number 12, Peter. 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 He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Even when things have failed, even when you have failed in ABC, you know there is a God who gives another chance. Number 13, Peter was that character. He spoke in chapter 2, verse 34. He spoke and 3,000 were converted. Kubanga Petro ye mtu ya ina empisa e yokuwe situla one yene nye na hafa monsobi ye na atina masobutu. Ya sobulo kuogira mkubuli la kumuemba antu wa suka mungumi sato nebatu chusobula mbwa wakudelie. Finally Paul. Neya semba yoyo mtume Paulo. <laughs> leaders who are passionate 
for what they believe in. Omukulembeze eyettanire nnyo kulaba anti chakiririza mu kigenda maso. I sometimes see I, I see my my beloved president I just sometimes say, really, this man is very passionate about what he, he, he is really protecting. Really, he, are we sure that when he's no longer, this thing will remain what it is? Nzira au nenevu za, ebisele mbwenda wa mkwano gwange, mnyuanyi wango, mkulembezo gwanga, nungamu, mbwela vila dada, ayukira kutimbe, ayukira chintu wachika, 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 chintu so when you are a Christian like me and a believer and a reader, are you passionate for what you believe in? Are you passionate for what you believe in? Would you boldly say, I am a Christian despite what? I was uh, finally I, I can't forget to remember when I was in Britain, in a place called Birmingham. We were going to go to board a bus. The driver of the bus was a Muslim. He told us that he was a Muslim. He told us that he was a Muslim. It was exactly one o'clock. And most of us were moving from there to another state to get, to get on a plane in time. You, you know this driver, what this driver did? He moved into the front of the bus. He, he put kakeka, a mat down. He started. Ten minutes, twenty minutes. And you know Bazungu. Almost another person wanted to run on the bus. To take it bus. off. But when he finished, he came and people were there and you know they, they had called the company of the bus. And he said, But we finally took off. What I learned from this man. Passionate about what he believes in. Regardless of who you people want on the bus timing, that's not his problem. Very, very, very zealous. Because he believes in God. Friends, you Christian, looking at me. Are we really zealous? Are we passionate about this Christ we hold to? Are we passionate, really? Are we just Christians by name? Oh, we are there as leaders in our own right. When he calls, I am coming. Father, I am listening. When you call me, I will answer. I will do exactly what you want me to do. Forgive us for our failures. But like Paul, like Peter, give us another chance. We want to lead. So those that we are leading, they see us and they may not see us but see you in us. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. May the peace of God which is greater than we all can understand, may that peace keep your hearts and minds always focused, holding on to Jesus, the perfecter of our faith. And may the blessing of God Almighty, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with you, strengthen you, help you to sail through this world.
this country, in your home, be an example now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.